Well, I haven't really done a video on the MFD tracker for a little while, but um, I figured I would answer one of the questions that has repeatedly come up. Certainly, I've received this question many, many times. It's people saying, how do I calibrate the pitch access? Now, th this is not particularly difficult, and I I'll give you a demonstration quickly on what the tracker is. I don't have it powered in or anything, so I'm going to move things around. But um, essentially, the aim here is to set an offset for the 90 degree angle over there, which obviously, depending on your rig you've got set up, you may want to set the 90 degree to there. It's not ideal, but if you've got a collision with the base of this, it's going to be a problem. So you're kind of setting the point, the maximum height you can get vertically. In my case, well, 90 is about there, which kind of works. Now, the next thing you're doing from there, once you've set that position, is setting the zero degrees, which is all the way down there. It kind of makes sense, really. So you're basically saying, what's the upper and what's the lower end points of the system? Now, for simplicity, I'm going to show you a little video which I took. It's slightly wobbly because of the way the tripods and things are rigged up with me trying to actually get a copy of the OLED display showing in the screen. But it kind of will do the trick. Let me show you now. Okay, so we've just powered up the tracker and we are going to calibrate. So first thing, into the menu. And you want to scroll down all the way to the calibrate pitch menu option. and. At that point, oh, we're going to pitch up and we press and hold the button on the right hand side, moving the tracker all the way to the top. And then we save the 90 degree position. And then we go to pitch down and we swing it all the way down until we're at the zero degree position. And we save the zero position. Now, I've always then saved and exited. I don't know if that's required, but it works for me. And there we have it. Quite easy, isn't it? You know, this is not a particularly complex thing to deal with. Um, hopefully it has explained a little bit more what the end game is here. I will shortly be doing another video just showing you how to calibrate the 360 um, and getting all the compass and everything right. This kind of is slightly more involved because it depends on how you are setting it up. But um, at least we got one thing nipped on the bud and cleared off the list. Now, once again, if you like the RTRC channel, please click the subscribe button, share it with your friends. It, it all helps us build the channel and get more great subscribers and content out there. Anyway, enjoy your day. Cheers, guys. Have fun.